So continuing with question three, we have here using ABC overhead cost assigned to job 971 for machine setup is. Okay, so looking back at the data, we can see that for machine setup, all right, the driver is going to be the one. We have 30 for this job specifically out of 390 total. So we're using about 7% of the total. You know, using the same rationale, the total cost for this is 13,260, right? So we have 13,260 that we're using for this total, and we're using 7% of that. Right, so that's how we get our 1020. So the answer is going to be 1020, and it's because machine setup is driven by setups, and there's 13,260 total that we're spending here, and 390 setups. And job 971, how many setups does it have? We're looking at 30 setups. So it's 30 setups out of 390, that's 7%. 7 percent. 7 percent of the 13,260 gives us the answer. Okay, and here it's 10,020. So with that, I'm moving on to the next one. So the cost assigned to job 971 for machine repair is... So question four here, let's see, machine repair, we have... Is we're having 15,000 hours out of a total of 30,000 hours, all right? And the total cost for this situation is 1,380. So we're drawing 50% of 1,380, so it's giving us 690. So the answer here is D, simply because we have 15,000 machine hours out of 30,000 machine hours, that's 50% of the 1380 so the answer for he, for this one is 690 so we have 690 is the answer and we're gonna move over to question number five so the cost assigned for inspections is okay so for inspections the idea is that we have 15 inspections that we have within the job 15 inspections that we have and total inspections is 160 so we're gonna go 15 over 160 for the percentage 15 over 160 it's giving us 9.4 percent of this activity that we're drawing in here and the total cost for inspections 10,500 so I have 9.4 percent of 10,500 we got Let's see here, we're getting 990 about, just about 990 is what I'm getting. All right, so again, just exercising what we've been practicing is inspections here, we have 15 out of 160 total and the cost is 10,560. So inspections wise, we're getting 990 is the answer is B. Now, what's the total overhead per unit in regards to activity-based costing for question six? So the idea here is that we're going to add up everything that we've been working through. We're going to add up each piece. So we have 10,000. 10, we have 990 for the last one. 990 plus 690 plus 1020. Plus, we had the 6,500. Okay, so that's our total overhead. Now, we produced four units, so overhead per unit is going to be 2,300. So the answer is D. So just, just looking back at how we're doing all of this, the, it's just the same, same thing we're doing over. It's just we're just seeing how much of each activity Job 971 used. Okay, so whatever it used, we look, how much does that represent of the total use of this cost driver? Just like we did in our models. Because if we know the percentage, then we just apply that percentage to the total 
budgeted overhead cost. And that's how we look at the answers for these questions. So I recommend you guys studying the chapter on this, studying the definitions in the book, so that you know how to use this table to apply the material.